Next, Linda, what happens to the vagina if you don't have sex for a long time? Next, Linda, I have not had or had sex for like five years now. What could happen to my vagina? Will my vagina block? Next, Linda, I don't feel at peace anymore. I have not had sex for like five years. Could anything happen to me or my vagina? Next, Linda, I'm trying to embark on abstinence for like three years because my fiance will be coming back three years time as to present myself as a virgin to him. So all these questions are more just what I have been receiving on my DM. I've been getting on my DM for quite some time now. So I started to do this video in order to explain what happens to the vagina if you don't have sex for a very, very, very long time. The long time we are discussing on today's video is eight months one year and above so if you have not had sex for like one month don't think that <laughs> you have not had sex for a long time one thing i want you to know is this if you do not have sex for a long time your vagina will not close and if you do not have sex for a very 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 long time your virginity will not come back when the hymen is broken it is broken so but you can help yourself because when you don't have sex for a very 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 long time the vagina tends to tighten yes it tends to tighten the first thing that happens to the vagina if you don't have sex for a very 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 long time is tight vagina yes your vagina tends to tighten without regular sexual intercourse your vagina can tighten and its tissue become thinner and less elastic, thereby leading to bleeding, tear during sexual intercourse. When you now decide to have sex, you find out that there tear everywhere and even bleeding because the vagina has tightened and the tissue is now thin and less elastic. The second thing that happens to the vagina, if you don't have sex for a very long time, is decreased elasticity. You know what elastic means now? Something being able to stretch. Stretch and come back, stretch and come back. When you don't have sex for a very long time, it will decrease your vagina elasticity. Meaning, when you finally have sex, it will be difficult for your partner's Penis to penetrate inside your vagina. Yes, it's supposed to. Vagina is a muscular organ that accommodates anything that enters or wants to come outside. It's anything that wants to enter or wants to come outside. It contracts, it expands to accommodate it, and later it will go back. Now that I have not had sex for a very long time, you have not engage in sexual intercourse for a very long time the elasticity will decrease it will be very difficult for it to stretch that is open to accommodate the penis and when it eventually uh, stretches and accommodate the penis it will be very difficult for it to come back again not that it's not going to come back home, but it will take time because it has not when we are having sex frequently the vagina is now used to contracting accepting penis and then um, there's stretching and coming together that is just take it like i don't know if you are getting what i'm trying to explain here three less lubrication when you don't have sex for a long time the few that your vagina produces will be less in fact sometimes it will take a whole lot of time before your vagina comes to tense that something wants to happen you know, for it to lubricate itself that's why sometimes you tend to have tear and bleeding you no know, dry vagina leads to bleeding during sexual intercourse now there is less lubrication during the do because you have stayed for a very very long time without servicing the engine 
it will take time before the vagina lubricates itself and this in turn leads to tear and uh, bleeding stuff the fourth the fourth one decreased libido or high libido when you don't have sex for a very long time some people's libido tends to decline they don't even feel anything again when you're touching them they hardly get aroused then some people when not when they don't have sex for a very long time every little things will remind them of sex <laughs> that is high libido and decreased libido so the fifth thing that happened to the vagina is anxiety and uh, depression if you don't have sex if you don't enjoy yourself for a very long time there will be a time that you will be depressed you will be you know there is a hormone if you have not watched my video where i have been talking and stressing about note if you are if you are not married please i don't advise you to engage in sex and before you even engage in sexual intercourse in sexual intercourse with someone ascertain their health status i know that is benefit of sex i i may not be able to touch all the benefits of sex on today's video because it is a topic that needs to be discussed on its own but there is also benefit in abstinence if you don't know your partner very well please abstain but if you have a partner you have opportunity to clear the bushes that is is it called the garden of play please leave a comment if you know that ghana boy is he what is his name or what a bond share that normally says is it clear the bushes clear the garden please say it in the comment section comment on the comment section if you know that uh, saying that that Ghana boy was a born share used to say clear the garden or burn the bush I was saying depression and anxiety so you feel depressed you feel anxiety when the mission or when you're trying to reconnect to your your sexual activities you are always tense the fifth one it does we are always sick yes sex tends to boost the immune system some people when they don't have sex for a long time they are always sick they are always sick they are always sick they are always stressed that happy hormone that antibody that does sex the homoglobin a and antibodies which helps to fight which is being released during sexual intercourse is not there again so you might always be feeling sick in fact studies show that those who engage in sexual activities at least twice a week tends to be more healthier or quote or note with a healthy partner yes with a partner with a partner that is healthy with a partner that they know his or her health status. According to Diana Lucky, long term of not having sexual intercourse might predispose you to depression, anxiety, stress. Your brain is being deprived of endocrine hormones, dopamine, all these feel good hormones. You'll be feeling frustrated. Have you seen a woman that have not had sex for a very long time? This is not applied to virgins. Yes, if you have not had sex before, you can even stay 100 years. You will not feel all these things that I'm explaining. But maybe you have been engaging in sexual intercourse, suddenly you stop. Or more, you will not feel good at it. You will easily get angry. You will easily, as in, even if you see people enjoying themselves, you'll be envy. <laughs> Please, I'm not saying this to hurt anyone. I'm not please i'm not saying this for you to get hurt i'm just saying it out of experience yes if you have has a partner that you know his health status please go and clear the garden enjoy yourself life is too short and if you're not married if you don't have a partner that you trust abstainers is the best because you wouldn't want to enjoy yourself and end up with std get me hold yourself if you are a virgin don't go and 
disveging yourself because of this video I'm making this video I'm trying to get those grown-up ladies women that is that is no longer a virgin that decided to keep themselves for maybe to punish them once the hymen is broken it is broken so all those me that have been going on online use what you have before you lose it if you abstain for a long time you turn to virgin all those ads. I just want to debunk it with this video. There is nothing will happen to you except decrease elasticity, decrease libido or high libido, less lubrication, tighten vagina, falling sick frequently. Yes, frequently falling sick and hardly arose. They are hardly arose anxiety depression this is just what will happen to you if you don't have sex for a very long time we have come to an end to today's video if you are new here my name is linda iroma a registered committee health practitioner and more this channel is all about your health as a woman everything about health beauty and lifestyle we discuss it on this channel feel free to subscribe and join the community to my only subscriber, this is me saying a big thank you. A big thank you. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for your like. Thank you for your share. Oh, this babe. But let the back up. But let the back up. I'm so grateful. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.